big what it is uh i had surgery uh some time back uh, at the start of this year and i allahu alam i believe that that's had some side effects um so my short-term memory has been affected uh, so if i do something in the afternoon if i do something in the morning i don't remember if I, by the afternoon what i've done if i do something 10 seconds later i don't remember my short-term memory is quite bad this is having an impact and i've watched a few videos of yours I've, well i've watched the video where you said when you're in salah uh, do whatever is your um your gut feeling tells you the problem is sometimes i don't even know what if i've missed something in salah if i've said something and this is having an impact on my other acts of worship ablution also so i just wanted to know your advice on this because um it's something here that's causing me a great deal of uh, stress one of two either you are actually afflicted by this short term uh, memory loss or you're imagining things so if you are actually suffering from such uh, a memory a short term memory loss allah azza wa will not hold you accountable and you do whatever you think is most befitting and closer to the truth and if you are 50 50 if you are totally lost you don't know whether this is your third or fourth rak'ah always base your assumption on the minimal amount so if you're doubtful whether i prayed i offered one sujood or two then assume that you offered only one and add another sajda if you're doubtful whether you prayed three rak'ahs or four three is certain add another rak'ah to that but if you're delusional and if you're actually convincing yourself like so many many people they keep on putting themselves in a rabbit hole once they're lost they say and they present this in a very good presentation oh i have this i have that i did that surgery and, and i have a short term uh, memory loss and i can't remember things and da, 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 da. and they present their case as a given fact when actually it is not this requires you to dig deep inside your own self to find out whether you are making these things up or not and then ask allah for help and assistance make dua make ruqya and inshallah that will be sufficient